have done it again. Jesus, yes. In your special way, what was impossible? Baba, you made possible. Jesus, yes. Hey, everybody, put your hands on your head. Jesus, yes. Hey, you have done it again. Jesus, yes. Hey, in your special way, what was impossible? Baba, you made possible. Jesus, yes. Everybody, choir, put your hands on your head. Jesus, yeah. Everybody get you have done it again. Oh. Jesus, yeah. Hey, in your special way, what was impossible? Mama, you made possible. Jesus, yeah. So the Lord ran at the end of the rambo.
He is the one that has come to you in this community. Wherever you are, I want to finally invite you from the windows of your houses from the doors of your houses yes, and be here in the next one minute. It's not how long the message will go. It's how effective and how powerful the message will be. So get ready. You are going to testify. Oh, Mary, like you know. Our Father in the Lord will come up very shortly. Like Baba, why you want? But before he comes up, go to the bed. We want to invite Pastor Kunle Ajayi. How mm. will Pastor Kunle Ajayi? Don't mm. bring him up. Our dear own father, Latile, Musiwaju, Baba, was sent by our father in heaven. The Atirola, Baba, was the person of Elnani, Pastor E. E. Adeboye, Daddy E. Adeboye. Over to you, Pastor Kumne. Thank you.
Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. I know for sure that there is somebody here, whether the devil likes it or not, you will see the new year. I mean, now, if you are the one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good. If you can find a seat, please sit down. Today is your day. If you believe that, shout another hallelujah. So by hallelujah, When I go a fishing like we are doing now, my duty is to visit as many places as I can. I've already visited three places today. You are the fourth place. So my duty is always to come down, pray for the people, and then go to the next station. But Alagbadu is special. I will not just pray for you. I will share with you before I pray. I will Today we are talking about the everlasting father. The Lord Jesus Christ has many names. Jesus Christ, And each name is significant. For example, when he says I am the way, he is saying that if everybody is saying there is no way for you and you call on him he will make a way which is why I'm telling somebody here today every door that has been locked against you shall be opened amen when he says, I am the truth, he's saying, if only you know me, you'll be free. Because the truth shall make you free. Which is why I'm prophesying to someone right now. Whatever may be the bondage in your life, it shall be broken today. And then he says, I am the life. 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 What is mean what it means by that is that. It doesn't matter what is dead in your life. He can bring it back to life. That's why I'm prophesying to someone today. Everything the devil has stolen from you shall be restored. Amen. And and then he came to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And he started by saying, my name is wonderful. Which is another way of saying, I can perform wonders for you. Which is why I'm decreeing right now. Before the new year, you will receive a miracle. Oh, he said, you know, I mean, you look at Jesus. Then he says, I am counselor. Oh, so we pay a mini or the money. 
Now, a counselor is somebody who is wiser than you. Who can show you the way out of a problem that you cannot solve. For example, a king had a dream. In Daniel chapter 2. By the time he woke up, he has forgotten the dream. So he gathered together all his wise men. He said, I want you to tell me my dream. Which I've forgotten. And then tell me the interpretation. And they said, Your Majesty. Tell us your dream. So And then we'll give you the interpretation. I saw tomorrow. He said, if you don't tell me my dream. And the interpretation. He said, I will kill all of you. But the man was there called Daniel. He said, Your Majesty. Just give me a day. Let me consult with my God. Let me talk to the counselor. And Daniel went. And within the night. God has shown him the dream and the interpretation. Which is why I'm prophesying to all the students who are here now. All the students. You will never fail another exam. And then he went on and said, I am the mighty God. Mighty God who can do anything. He said to a woman who was 90 years old. And said, within nine months, we will have a son. And the woman laughed. And God said, ah. Why are you laughing? Is there anything too hard for me? So I'm saying to somebody here today, even if the doctor say you can't have it, nine months from today, you will be carrying your children. Oh, my dear, I'm also saying to everybody here, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from today onward, every impossibility in your life will become possible. Now, when he says, I am the everlasting father, what exactly does it mean? There are two words here. Father Baba. and everlasting. Now, Father is not a name. It's a title. <laughs> Father, <laughs> Baba. Father means the source. Now, so when a child is born, when we are calling the name of the child, we add the surname, the name of the father. Because the father is the source. Now, God is your source. Before you were born, he said, I knew you. And the implication of that is this. It is the one who knows your source. And it is the one who knows your source. 
Uh, he's the one who can decide how you will end. Which is why I'm saying to somebody here today. It doesn't matter how many enemies you have. You will reach your goal. And then they now say it's everlasting. What does that one mean? It simply means it's forever. Now, if, if the president is your father, then you will enjoy the powers of the presidency for maximum of eight years. After eight years, your father will become ex president. But this God I'm talking about, he never becomes ex God. It's the same yesterday. It's the same today. It's the same forever. Nobody voted for him to power. And so you can't vote him out of power. Which is which means if you are his child, you enjoy for the rest of your life. Which is why I'm prophesying to somebody from today onward you will never know sorrow again. Also that brings us to the big question. Because if I begin to talk about the father because it's my father uh, can talk about him tonight. Because my father, when he opens, nobody can shut. When he says yes, nobody can say no. When he promotes, nobody can bring them. If he doesn't kill you, nobody can kill you. He, my father is the almighty. But the big question is this. Are you his child? Because the Bible says God knows those who are his own. In Elisha, they have a saying. They said, every Jesha is the son of Owa, or child of Owa. But when the night falls, Owa knows how many children come to his house to sleep. If I ask you now, and I say, how many children of God are here? Every hand will go up. But God knows his own. You see, this father is a holy God. And the Bible made it abundantly clear. Like father, like children. If, if you say... You are his child. And you are still living in sin. Then you are deceiving yourself. He knows his own. And he gives his miracles only to his children. A woman came to him. And said, please, I need help. He said, I can't give a miracle to... Dogs. Only his children can get their miracles from him. But you can become his child today. If you will come and surrender your life to him, and you cry to him that he should save your soul, he will do so. If you come forward, with determination, 
that you are no longer going to be involved with sin. You are not going to do anything with the devil anymore. I will join you in prayer. It will save your soul. And your life will become completely new. So I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, if you, if you want to give your life to Jesus, you come and stand before me. Come before the altar here. And I will pray for you. And God will save your soul. I'm praying. I'm counting now. One. Any two AG The choice is yours. Don't bother what your friend may say. It is you and God deciding now. You want to give him your life? He wants to receive you. He wants to forgive you. And he wants everything to become new for you. Don't wait for your friend. Today is your own day of salvation. Come now. Three. Party up, party up, party up. Four. Harry. That's very good. Come, 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 come. Emma God is calling Emma you. Emma yes, if you're on the way, don't slow down. Hurry up. Okay, those of you who are already in front. And those of you who are on the way. I want you to cry to God now. And say, everlasting Father, have mercy on me. Save my soul. Let your blood wash away my sins. I will do your will from now on. I want to become a member of your family. Please, Lord. Forgive me. Save my soul. And give me a new beginning. Go ahead, pray like that to God. And then the rest of us. Let's search our hands towards this. And intercede for them. And pray and say, God, save their souls. Just as you saved my own soul, save their souls. Give them the new salvation. Please pray for them. If you are still on the way, hurry up now. Because I'm about to pray for salvation. Hurry up, you are not late yet. Yes, I can see you, but you must hurry up. Come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hey, Bessie, come on, come on. This is your day of salvation. Oh, nigga, I'm gonna do it, Balare. Cry to him. Ask him for mercy. Ask him to save your soul. Yes, God bless you. Keep coming. Make sure you get here before I finish praying. God bless you. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. This is your, your day of salvation. This is your day of salvation. Thank you, Father.
In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. My Father, my God, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. And thank you for these people who have come forward. Please receive them. Have mercy on them. Save their souls. Let your blood wash away their yeah, sins. Yeah, yeah. Receive them into the family of God. Write their names in the book of life. And from today onward. Anytime they ask you for a miracle. Answer them by fire. And don't let them ever go back. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Ah, now, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Yeah. I rejoice with you. Because from now on, by the special grace of God, I will be praying for you. And very soon, you will be receiving miracles. Then you will know somebody is praying for you somewhere. And that somebody will be me. That's why I'm going to need your name. Your prayer request. And your address. And the counselors will collect the information. And they will pass them on to me. And I promise you, I'll be praying for you. I want you to wait where you are right now. Those of you who believe that today is your day. Uh, please stand on your feet and shout hallelujah. My father, my God, I want to thank you. I want to give you all glory and honor for the power in your word. I am committing all those who are here into your hands. Father, Baba, today, Whatever they ask of you, before the sun sets, Father, give unto them. If they ask for healing, give it to them. If they ask for breakthrough, give unto them. If they ask for promotion, give unto them. If they ask for breakthrough, give unto them. If they ask for prosperity, give unto them. If they ask for fruitfulness, give unto them. If they ask for anointing, give unto them. To them. Everything they need to make their joy full. Father, give unto them. And now, my Father, my God, in your name, I am blessing this your people. Every one of you here today, you will enter the new year with joy. Amen. You will spend the new year with joy. Everywhere you turn, ways will be opened unto you. God will defend you. He will protect you. He will promote you. He will make you joyful. Before you leave this place, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will have a testimony. And you too, you will serve God. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now it's your turn to pray. I've told God that whatever you ask God, He will give unto you. 
and he will give it to you today. So for the next five minutes, forget everybody else. It's between you and God now. So you lift up your voice to him. I say everlasting father before tomorrow give me a big miracle so that my job may be full. And then you tell him the kind of miracle you want. Go ahead for the next five minutes. Talk to the almighty God and he will answer your prayers.